So welcome to a hands-on introduction to OpenMP. My name is Tim Matson, and I'll be walking you through a basic introduction to parallel computing with OpenMP. I'm a research scientist at Intel, and I'm actually one of the, the old people who actually created OpenMP way back in the late 90s. So I've spent a lot of time with this technology. So OpenMP is probably, oh, the number one or number two most commonly used parallel programming language in, in use today. Um, it's relatively easy to learn, which is a big reason why I like to use it when introducing people to parallel computing. Because you don't spend a lot of time learning complex language notations, complex APIs. We get all that cred out of the way right away, and you can get on to the more interesting stuff, which is parallel algorithms and actually solving problems in, well, on a parallel computer. So OpenMP is just a wonderful way to get started in parallel computing, even if your final target's something other than OpenMP. Now, there's a few assumptions I'm going to make as we go through this course. I assume that you're comfortable with C. OpenMP works with C++, it works with Fortran, it works with C, but for, the, for this course, I'm just going to focus on C. Uh, the other thing I assume is that you're brand new to parallel programming. So I'll be sure to introduce all of the concepts along the way, uh, assuming that you have no background in parallel programming. Um, and then finally, I'm going to assume that you have access to a compiler running on a computer that can run OpenMP. This is a hands-on course. It's not just a sit and listen to me yak at you course. So I want to, uh, before I get any deeper, uh, acknowledge all the people who've helped me with this material. I've been teaching some version of this content for over a decade, and a lot of people have helped pull it together. So Mark Bull at the University of Edinburgh has been a constant collaborator with this material. Uh, Barbara Chapman at the University of Houston has been incredibly valuable in working on this material, as has Rudy Eigenman at Purdue. And then, of course, there's been a number of people at Intel who have worked with me on this content. Larry Meadows, Sanjeev Shah, and, and Clay Brashears. And then finally, there's some of this content that comes from a course that I teach with Professor Kurt Koitzer at UC Berkeley. And that we have the little logo on the content of the, of the Golden Gate Bridge to indicate when this came from uh, UC Berkeley. So that's where all this material came from. Let's uh, focus a little bit on the way this course is going to work. So I have uh, a collection of modules and discussion units organized into five units. So we're going to be able to go through from starting from scratch all the way through to fairly sophisticated OpenMP. The emphasis is on something that I call active learning. So basically, I'm going to lecture a little bit and then give you an exercise to do. And I expect that in going through this content, you will spend about as much time doing exercises as you do listening to me. There'll be a URL where you can go and download the exercise. You'll be able to download a copy of a PowerPoint presentation that covers all this material. You'll be able to download a reference card on OpenMP. So there'll be the materials you need to support you as you actually work with all of this hands-on. Now, there's a very important rule. When I give you an exercise, do the exercise. Don't cheat and look at the solution. Some of the exercises I give you will be fairly open-ended. In fact, there's a couple of them where they're designed for you to fail. Because in the failing, you learn a lot. And then we go through and explain why you had trouble. And it's that cognitive dissonance of going from failure to success that turns this into an active learning experience. You got to work at it, try things out, play with it. It's a much more enjoyable and satisfying way to learn. And it puts things into long-term memory, which is what we're all after right here. So as I said, there are five units. First unit is getting started with OpenMP. Second unit is we're going to go through the core features of OpenMP. The third unit, we're going to actually go over working and doing real stuff with OpenMP, because it's my goal that by the time you're done with this online uh, selection of lectures, that you'll be able to go off and do real hardcore application programming with OpenMP. Then we're going to talk about some of the more advanced features of OpenMP that we don't always get to in a lecture like this. So I'm, I'm glad we're going to be able to get some of that in there. And then I'll have a brief recapitulation to wrap it all up. Now we're ready to start into the course itself.